But why is it not beeping? It doesn't need a uh, volume to reflect. But it volumes up now. Yeah, but like that doesn't affect your time. Are you sure? I'm going to go through the whole video blog. I'm going to do this. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. It's the 30th of May, 2016. And I'm going to do a quick video blog. I'm a rise of party bizarre. I'm going to start teaching you about male and female energy, something that the world needs very, very much, and it's my job, my responsibility to clean that up for you. First thing that we have to recognize is that it's completely out of balance. <clears throat> so if you're watching me, you're either a man or a woman right now. And I want you to ask yourself this question. Do you feel in your gut, not in your head? Okay, you have to start to learn to feel. Do you feel in your gut that the world is possibly out of balance when it comes to male and female? interaction. Male and female dynamic. <clears throat> dynamic means what? When two things are relating to each other in a way that's not necessarily orderly. Well, it could be orderly, I guess. Um, do, you, do you feel in your interaction with the world, whether you're a man or a woman, that the dynamic of male and female is off? Now, take your parents, first of all. If you still have mom and dad around, then that's a perfect example of off. Or you may be missing one parent, right? If you didn't lose them to <clears throat> the Grim Reaper, death, then it was a divorce. That means it was off. Obviously, they couldn't get along. They were, uh, you know, they could have a child, but they couldn't even for the sake of the fucking baby keep it together, which I think is pretty ridiculous. Or one parent dies, and after that, you got to see your other parent be miserably fail with the opposite sex. <clears throat> and that failure doesn't mean they didn't get somebody. They got a bunch of retarded ones. Or they got one that didn't interact, right? This is the experience of planet Earth. It's not just you. It's your neighbor. You walk around and you show this video to the next person. They have the same experience. Now, there are always those one or two people like, oh, no, I'm perfect. You're not. You're not. You're annoying. You should say, oh, I'm annoying. That, that's perfect, okay? Then you're perfect. You're perfectly annoying. That's what you are, okay? So we start with our own parents. <clears throat> then you look into your own life and your last relationship. Well, if you had a last relationship, then that means that relationship was off somewhere, right? Because it's no longer the relationship. Somewhere in the dynamic, it was off. And you can look at your current relationship. Somewhere in your current relationship, the dynamic is off. That also goes for me and my girlfriends. <clears throat> it's just we're a lot more advanced. And ours will be fully handled in a matter of days, actually. The man and woman, the male and female energy is off. And the majority of your problems in life have to do with that. In fact, I know that if we fix this situation between man and woman, we would have a much more sane culture and a better, peaceful world and a much more pleasurable world. <clears throat> now, the question arises, what about gay people? Well, what about gay people? Even in gay relationships, one will hold male energy more and one will hold the female energy more. If it's two men, one will be more feminine, one will be more masculine. <clears throat> one if two females, same thing. Because that's how these energies relate to each other. So the first thing to recognize is the old rule that says opposites attract. Got that? Opposites attract. So we're going to learn what that actually means, not what you thought it meant. It doesn't mean if I'm short, <clears throat> tattooed, bearded, and a bad motherfucker, I'm going to like a tall, blonde, um, straight-edged girl. That's not opposites. That's physical. This teaching goes beyond the flesh because true male and female energy goes beyond the flesh. Flesh is temporary, the energy is not. It expresses itself through all animals, through all animal kingdom, insects, even plants. <clears throat> even gods and goddesses, same thing. Opposites attract. So what does that mean? Here we go. I wish I had two magnets and I could show you. We have one magnet here, <clears throat> plus, minus, got it? North, south, plus, minus, plus, plus, minus, plus is top, minus is bottom. We have another magnet here, plus, <clears throat> minus. If we do both pluses together 
on these magnets. And we try to push them together. The moment you let go, they repel. Right? We've all done that experiment. Plus in nature is a symbol for what? Male. Minus is symbol for female. Plus is male. Minus is female. So you take male and male. I don't mean bodies, because otherwise gay people wouldn't be able to have relationships. But they do. I mean energy. Energy. And we'll get into that maybe another video block. I'm going to keep this in 10 minutes. Male energy plus <clears throat> with male energy together, repel. And what will happen is one of them will flip and go here. So sometimes you have a female, a woman, who's more masculine energy than the man she's with, right? And they go together and they bump heads and he turns feminine. <clears throat> and they still stay together, but she becomes the man, he becomes the woman. If you're a woman in this kind of relationship right now, and I know a lot of women, you are miserable. You are miserable, right? Fuck, you just hate it. And if you're a man in this kind of relationship, you are dead. That's what you are. You're not even miserable. You don't even know how to be miserable. You're fucking, you want to kill yourself probably. <clears throat> because it's not natural. Male, male. Now, the teaching is simple. Opposites attract. Female, male. Boom. They come together. The stronger the magnet, the harder it will be to pull it apart. Two tiny little magnets, you just apply a little force, the relationship between the poles breaks. You bring two planets next to each other, boom, and they collide, you won't even, they become a new planet. The gravity, right? <clears throat> gravity is attraction. Opposites attract. Male energy attracts female energy. That's what that means. Now, in your relationship, if you are a female, you would do really well by understanding what it means to be female. <clears throat> first, first, I'm going to go in order in these videos. If you're a male, you would do really well understanding what it means to be male. And there are qualities to this energy, actual qualities, male and female qualities, yin and yang. You've heard of yin yang, right? That, that symbol, that's male, female. So we're going to start with the most important quality, the senior quality for each. Okay? You need to know this and your life will change. Woman quality. Most senior quality of a woman. Receptive. Receiving. Effect. Submission. Those are all synonyms. Cinnamon toast crunch. <clears throat> Female energy is receptive energy. Easy. Think about your vagina. Your vagina goes inwards. And it's designed to receive. Right? Your vagina doesn't go outwards and penetrate. It goes inwards. So nature, when it wants to combine male and female, it made all, every creature on planet Earth that's a female, gave it a receptive. No, there's a few I just realized, like a fish or something. Oh, God damn. Do you mm. want to be one of those retarded animals? Mm. <clears throat> Female is receptive. Number one, quality. Male. Dominating. Strong. Penetrating. Forward moving. Not receptive. <clears throat> Male. Female receives. That becomes sex intercourse as a physical manifestation of the energies of life. <clears throat> now, you could be fucking your boyfriend, husband, girlfriend, but your energy could be fucked up, meaning he's not dominant, right? He's not stable. He's not strong. He's not penetrating through life. He's not penetrating through you. And you are not receptive in your energy. You're doing this all the time. You're trying to penetrate. 
Now, your sex sucks. If I just described your energy, I don't have to walk into your bedroom. Your sex life sucks. <clears throat> One of the reasons why women like to be dominated in bed, <coughs> because they're not dominated in life. So they try to get that release physically. It's not a physical release. Okay, that's the final act. Female, most important quality, receptive. Male, penetrative and dominant. To the degree that you get what I just said as a man <clears throat> and as a woman, you start to attract each other. Now the problem is, and I'm already in 10 minutes, but the problem is society and your parents and your schools and your friends and all, all the people that have basically ruined your life growing up have fed you ideas that prevent that natural process from taking place. You think as a woman that your opinion is so important right now. Fail. Totally fail. And if you just heard that, and we're like, well, what do you mean? Like, my opinion doesn't count. I'm telling you in a relationship, be fucking receptive, bitch. That's what I'm telling you. For once in your fucking miserable life as a fucking woman, learn to be fucking receptive. For fucking once, bitch. For fucking once. Try it. Try it. You might be surprised. And as a man, you have a different idea. You have an idea that you need her. That's in your face. The moment that you get the idea that you need her, need her, you become vagina. Okay, listen. Because it's not just dominating her. You're fucking up as a man. Because no man came to you and said, you do not need her. She needs you. Woman, you need him. You need him. Man, you don't need her. You want her. There's a difference. She needs you. You want her. That's the proper relationship. Now, this video is not going to fucking solve your problems. But it is going to wake your ass up. And it's going to give you truth, raw truth, from a person who knows, who's earned this knowledge. Earned it with my fucking soul. you got to get that shit. None of you have gone through what I'm going through to know what I know. I put that on my life. You as a woman, <clears throat> receive and learn for once to be quiet. Just once. Try it. You, you might be surprised what happens. You as a man, for once, remind yourself you don't need her. You don't need anything from her. At all. You want her. So you are to guide, educate, and teach her. She is to learn from you. Now naturally, if you're an idiot as a guy, it's not going to happen. So there are women that are with a bunch of idiots. So this is not going to work. But I'm not talking to you about your fucking fucked up lives. I'm talking to you about the truth of the energy. We're all seeking that. If this occurs, a lot of your problems will fade. This is the beginning of a series of video blogs that I highly recommend you watch and show people. And if anybody wants to debate this, then be my fucking guest, but be able to debate it live with me online with people watching. And I'll always arrive for that shit. And if you're a moron within the first three, four minutes, and it's obvious, it's the end of the debate because I don't have fucking time for you. But if you really think you're a man or a woman, and you think I'm fucking wrong, then let me see your fucking face. Name the time. We'll go on fucking Skype. Let the world watch. Because I'm right in what I'm saying. I'm 100% right in what I'm saying, actually. So it might be good for you to listen because I'm about to teach you the truth behind male and female energy from a perspective, from a point in space that you cannot access yet. And you probably will never access, but you will get you will through me. Alright? I am T Nation. Be the best. Fuck the rest. See you in the next one. <clears throat>